good afternoon so after a summer with no service on the Stover line on weekends they're now back in service I've never ridden the Stover line before it's only going up to Mount Joy which is not the end of the line but I figured why not go and see what's at the end of the line let's go already tapped okay so I don't need to tap anymore it says it's on time that's good now Kennedy station used to be just a single track in fact if you go a little bit further south it is just a single track it's single track south from Kennedy through a little residential area before it gets down to Scarborough Station, which is the joining of the, the main line, and that goes down to, to Union. On the other end, looking north, they've done some track twinning from uh, northbound here at Kennedy, and let's see how far the track twinning has actually got, because that's part of the work to expand service on this line. They eventually want to get that up to I think the plan is to get it to at least once every half an hour. Right now, on the weekend service here, it's once every hour, which is a darn sight better than what it used to be. Something else I've noticed here is that the second platform is not currently open. So they've still got the plastic wrapping on the video display indicators, and there is no actual access from the, I guess it would be the uh, the TTC station side. That would be the only way to get up to this particular platform. So yeah, the only way into the station right now is either via the parking lot or through the, the tunnel that goes underneath the tracks. And yeah, presumably they will have an exit from that tunnel that will bring you up to the second platform. I didn't see any sign of that when I was down in the in the tunnel. Actually another update as I walk further down the platform I can see here as I get towards the south end of the platform that there are, are a set of doors here a matching set of doors on the other side of the, the track as well as a couple of elevators that would be the way that you cross the platform so yeah i guess there won't be a way out to the other platform from ttc as the announcement continues in french of uh, the train arriving here is our train arriving right now Okay, here we go. Our trains have arrived. We're going to get onto the end coach here. Not too busy. I'm not sure how many people even use this service, even at the best of times. So, we're going to see it. And we'll go on our service to Stovall. station stop is Agent Court. Looking on the left hand side, uh, which is the current platform we're on, uh, the Agent Court station itself was rebuilt in 2021 to be ready for the this, uh, Stouffville track expansion. Now that we've left Agent Core and are on our way to Millican, which is the next station, we have once again switched tracks and are now on the east side track and 
So we can see there's a westbound, as a west side track that's uh, next to us. Hasn't really been used yet. Those rails are still pretty rusty looking on top. Lots of grade crossings along this line. If you ever wanted to come visit a large Asian mall, maybe the largest Asian mall in the Toronto region, the Pacific Mall, is served by Millican Station. So it's only a short walk away from Millican Station to Pacific Mall. Markham Station has quite a short platform. I am in the back and my train car doesn't Please even open. Please stay clear of the doors. Doors are now closing. This train has 10 coaches and I think the, I think it was the last four did not open. So I didn't see our, our conductor getting on the train there, customer service assistant. And we made it to Mountjoy Station. So this is the current end of the line. It's not the actual end of the line. There's usually a couple more stations to go, uh, but we don't go as far as uh, Old Elm, I believe, is the, the end of the line. So there's Stouffville and Old Elm that are on the end of this line. So anyway, uh, left at, oh, let's see what time is it. I'm watching this on my different hand this today. 1.30, it's now 2.07. So 37 minutes to get up here. Um, not really sure what else there is up here. The problem with Go Transit is that not all of the trains put you off in places where you actually want to be. There's often little bus connections you have to get in order to go wherever you need to go. So we're going to wait for this one before. We're going to wait for around a bit and then we're going to take this train back down to Union Station. So just a bit more about the whole trains drop you off pretty much far away from where you want to be. If we take a look around here, we see there's a great parking lot. That tends to be the case with a lot of these GO stations where you tend to have a great big park and ride lots and the train will take you downtown. And unlike a lot of countries, particularly uh, UK or the Europe where the trains will take you to where you want to go in whatever city. Uh, the goal behind most North American trains is just to take you into the city itself and not really too much else around from there. Which is why you tend to see big, big like ride lots like this and it tends to drop you out pretty much in the middle of nowhere. So right here, if I take a look around, see what else is here. There's not too much else. There's like maybe a few little strip malls, car wash place, a couple of condos, bike rack. But yeah, not really too much in this local area to actually come in and see and do anything. As for the Mount Joy station, that is undergoing a little bit of a renovation here. Work. So that was the little trip, my little trip on the Stovall line from Kennedy Station up to Mount Joy. Not a too bad little trip, 37 minutes to get up here. Not quite, mostly residential places that we were going through, a little bit of industrial, but I think there's more to look at on the Lakeshore East and West lines. But fun little trip, no regardless. Thanks for coming along.